Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at the basics of probability today. We're going to talk about what probability is, we will calculate probability, and then we're going to talk a little bit about zero probability. All right, kind of like the chance of a high schooler like dating Beyonce or something. That's like zero probability. So we're going to get into that as well. All right, so what is the probability? Probability means the favorable outcome over all possible outcomes. In other words, it means what it is you're looking for, the chances of it happening over all other options. All right, so here's an example just to show, to, to illustrate how that works. If I roll a die, the probability, what is the probability that I will roll an even number? So we are going to look at the favorable outcomes, the things that we're looking for, over all the other total possibilities. Here's some questions that can guide us. First of all, um, first question, how many even numbers are there? So on a, a die, you've got um, a cube here, and there's six sides to it. How many even numbers are there on a die? Well, there are two, four, and six. Those are the even numbers. So there are three even numbers on a die. How many total numbers are there on a six-sided die? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six total numbers. So the way that we would look, what we're looking for is how many what are the, what's the probability that I'm going to roll an even number? So how many even numbers are there? Three out of six. So my chances are three out of six, and I can reduce that down to being one half. In other words, the probability of me rolling an even number is one half. I can either roll two, four, or six, and the other things I could roll would be three, five, and one. Okay. So that's how we would calculate the probability. It's half of the probability that I would roll an even number. So in other words, what are you looking for goes in the numerator, and all possibilities, all total possibilities, would go in the denominator. Let's calculate some probability. Um, the probability is written like this, p with the parentheses of event, or the probability of that event. So here's an example. From the previous question, I would have the letter P, and then in parentheses, I would say even. That means the probability of rolling an even number. So whatever's inside the probability, inside the parentheses there, that's what you're looking for. Probability of this happening. All right? So let's calculate some. Here is um, a spinning cube. So imagine that green arrow. I can flick it with my finger and it'll spin all around. What I'm doing is I'm solving for the probability of blue. Again, that P with the parentheses, it means probability of spinning blue. So if I were to spin the spinner around and all the parts are equal, there is one space that is blue and there's four total spaces. So I would say the probability of rolling blue is one out of four. There's one space that's blue and four total spaces. That's how we calculate probability. Let's look at our next slide with a funky colored um, spinning circle. I want you to try this out. Try solving for that. What that means is P with the red is the probability of spinning red. Part of the challenge of learning probability is learning the way that we write probability questions. P red, what does that mean? The probability of spinning red. So you think about spinning that um, now yellow spinner around. How many red spaces are there? And how many total spaces are there? The probability is there are three red spaces out of a total of eight. So the probability of roll of spinning red is three out of eight. There's three that are red and there's eight total. Again, what you're looking for goes in the numerator and the total possible outcomes are in the denominator. Let's calculate one um, using a, a die or a six-sided number cube, whatever you'd like to call it. Go ahead and solve for P2. Pause the recording. 
if you're back now, the, this means, again, just want to emphasize the notation of this. P2 means the probability of rolling a 2. What is the probability of rolling a 2? Well, there is one number 2 on a 6-sided die. There are 6 total sides, so my probability is 1 out of 6. Okay, there's one number 2, and there are 6 total sides. So my probability of rolling a 2 is 1 out of 6. That would actually be the probability of rolling any of the numbers. The probability of rolling a 1 is there's 1 1 out of 6 as well. Okay, so that's how we calculate probability. The final thing we're going to talk about is the zero probability. Again, the, the chance of, of dating a rock star while you're in high school, probably not going to happen. All right, so here, here's what uh, the, the zero probability. Here's an example. I want you to solve for the probability of spinning yellow. Well, that's easy. There's no yellow spaces out of a total of 8. So our probability is 0 out of 8. You can write it as 0 out of 8, or you could just say the probability of spinning yellow is 0, because 0 divided by 8 will give you 0. This is a 0 probability. It's like flipping a coin and trying to get green. You know, like, it's heads or tails, it's not green. So the same thing with this. If there is no chance, like there's no options, that are favorable, what you're looking for, then you're, you have a zero probability. And this happens from time to time. Um, and just keep be aware of that, that it is possible to get a zero probability. It just means that there are no favorable outcomes. There's, there's no way that you can get a yellow when you're spinning around on this um, with green, red, and blue. All right, um, we talked about what probability is our favorable outcomes over a total possible outcomes. We calculated probability using a spinning spinner and um, a die, and we also talked about zero probability. Hope that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.